Welcome to how to make a dot plot with Microsoft Excel 2007. I'll be using some housing data from the state of Oregon uh, from the early 1990s. We have two variables to consider, uh, size of the house and square footage and price of the house in thousands of dollars. However, since we'll only be using uh, the variable price, I'll get rid of the variable square footage. I right click on the A in column A and select the delete option. I like to sort my data from smallest to largest. Go to the menu tab, data, quick sort, and it's sorted. We see the smallest price is 59,000 and the largest price is 195,000. The next thing to do is to make a column of frequencies. So I'll call that freak. Uh, we'll start off with the one. That means there's a 59,000, a unique value of it. I just uh, enter a one for that. I would like to accumulate the frequencies for the other observations by using a if-then formula. This formula says if A3 is equal to A2, then I should take uh, the initial one in, in cell B2 and add one to it. Otherwise, start over at one. When I double-click the lower right corner, you can see it counts uh, correctly. When I have repeating observations, the frequency increases. Now I'll make a scatter plot out of these two columns. I start highlighting the data, press on Shift, Control, Down, Arrow key, and it brings me to the bottom, and I can insert scatter. The first option is fine. Let's cut that out and paste it near the top here, and I'll start doing some editing. This is clearly not a dot plot yet, although it kind of looks like one. I need to trick Excel. I'm because Excel does not have an option for dot plot, so I use the, the scatter plot option. I don't need this uh, series one legend. I click on it once, delete. The grid lines I don't need. Click on them once, delete. Uh, the Y axis, which is a frequency axis, click on that once, delete. I'll change the scale of the X axis to start at 50 and end at 200. Then I can eliminate all this empty white space right-click on the x-axis, format axis, and we want to start at 50, go up to 200 by increments of 25. Let's format the points, right-click on the points, format data series, marker options, built-in, let's change that blue diamond to circle, marker fill, solid, let's change it to black, and marker line color, Let's get the outline of these circles black also. Press OK. Uh, click on the graph once. Layout, axis titles, horizontal, below the axis. These are prices in thousands of dollars. And we also want a title above the chart. This is a dot plot of house prices. Let's uh, lower the font on that a little bit. Go to the Home tab, change the 18 to 14, almost done. Click on the graph at the bottom and I can squeeze it and it looks like a dot plot. Now we can see this dot plot is, uh, shows that the house prices are skewed to the right. Uh, there's a couple of outliers. A lot of points are almost identical, so you can't see much clustering down here. If you wanted to, you could round these values of the prices to the nearest whole number and then redo the frequencies and you would get more clustering. But this is good enough for now. Thanks for watching.